Now, this is the greatest in elliptoid decompression that you're ever going to find. Now, they've come up with a new head support device. Make sure this goes as low to where it nearly touches the shoulders. The neck is centered. This goes down low over the eyes. So almost like the old riverboat gamblers. You're going to apply this so it stabilizes. Now what you want to do, this inflates that bulbous air doing the elliptoid decompression. This deflates it. And so what you want to do is increase the pressure up until the comfort level. Let me know when that's just reaching the level of comfort. Good. Okay. And then you're going to decrease it. And you'll do this up to that same level of discomfort. Once we reach that, we're going to leave it there for about three to four seconds. And we'll do this over a two minute time frame. And what that's going to be doing is it's going to be forcing and hydrating those discs. Because remember, discs get their nutrients through imbibition, and which is movement. So they're forcing them along that opening aspect in that elliptoid movement. Now, once you've done that for two minutes, then you're going to go up. Now let me know when we've reached the limit where you're comfortable. Okay. Now, when we're at this level, you're going to deep breathe. So after you've warmed up for two minutes, she's going to be deep breathing during the inflation of this. And your goal is to get up to 20 minutes. It's actually 18 minutes. That's when the human spine crosses that plastic elastic deformation curve where the tissue in the spine has maintained that plastic deformation into a normal configuration. So you maintain it for that long, deep breathing. And the goal is to get up to that 20 minute mark. And then when she's done, she can reduce the pressure, has ease. And this is one of the greatest supportive exercises to correct forward head posture, reverse curves in the neck, neck trauma. It is absolutely essential. It's one of the ones, the devices that I've been using for over 20 years. Posture pump.